Hello and welcome to the second video on linear programming work scheduling models. Uh, first, we're going to start with an, an apology, or, um, a correction on the previous model. Of course, I'll scroll up and show you the previous model. As you can see in the proper um, constraints, I forgot the non-neg or non-negativity constraint. So x of i must be greater than or equal to 0 for i equaling 1 through 7. So that is by far the most important, one of the most important constraints and I forgot to include it, so my apologies. Now let's start on the second example. And let's start reading this. Example two, a private security firm has different requirements for each four hour shift. The firm requires the following number of security guards for each four hour shift. 12 to 4 a.m., 10, 4 to 8 a.m., 8, 8 to 12 p.m., 8, 12 to 4 p.m., 7, 4 to 8, 6, 8 to 12, 5. So I'm going to go through and actually highlight all of this right here. A security guard can only work two shifts in a row on any given day. Formulate an LP that can be used to minimize the number of workers needed to meet the security firm's daily requirements. Okay, so first we're going to go through and we're actually going to make a table based on the information given. So we know 12 to 4 a.m to 8 a.m. 8 to 12 p.m. 12 to 4 p.m. 4 to 8 p.m. and 8 to 12 a.m. So now we have that. So this is our time. And now we need our required workers or required security guards. So we're going to go through and we know that this, the first shift needs 10, second shift needs 8, third shift, where is that, also needs 8, the fourth shift needs 7, the fifth shift needs 6, and the final shift needs 5. And we're actually going to go through and I'm going to write in the number of shifts, so that's shift 1, 2, three, four, five, and six. And I write in this shift because I know that I'm going to want to index each of these shifts into a decision variable. So let's start with our objective function. As you can clearly see, it's to minimize the number of workers the security guard needs. So we're going to be, sorry, function going to be the minimize number of guards or number of workers. We're going to set that equal to z. We're going to define z after we define some decision variables. So our decision variables. Similar to the last problem, we're going to have it be x of i being the number of guards or workers starting in shift i, i equaling 1 through 6. You can of course do the dot 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 or you can just write out the entire index. So that's going to be our decision variable. Now we're going to write our constraints. Our constraints, of course, subject to or our constraints. So first constraint we're going to go through is our first shift. Shift 1. So we know our required workers for shift 1 are 10. But we need to know which workers will be working in shift 1. Of course, we know that they can only work two shifts in a row. So anyone starting at shift 
6 will then go and work in shift 1 and anyone starting in shift 1 will be working in shift 1 and that has to be greater than 10. Now let's write in our shift 2. Anyone starting in shift 1 and anyone starting in shift 2 will be working. And we're going to go through each individual shift. We're going to go through shift five now. Being greater than six. And now we're going to finish on shift six being shift five plus shift six being greater than five. So now we've gone through and we've actually found the num the minimum number required um, that the security firm needs to uh, hire. We also need to define our Z as X1 plus X2 plus X3 plus X4 plus X5 plus X6. So each worker starting in a shift is being added together to find your number of guards and you're trying to minimize that. Now of course we need our non-negativity, which I forgot in the last problem, but we need to know that x of i must be greater than or equal to 0, or i equal to 1 through 6. This is going to be your uh, linear program. Uh, thank you for watching. And